That's strange. Those supplies should have arrived by now. Oh, pardon me. Uh, welcome to St. Ursula Medical College. If you're here to visit a patient, you can sign in at the reception desk on the first floor. We've seen a sudden increase in patients due to the raid incident. Our doctors are doing everything they can to manage the rush. I'll support them by doing my best out here too. You keep up the good work, mate. You keep up the good work. Like, busy, 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 busy. And where did all these people come from? I can tell there are more people here than usual. You're right. Many of the injured from the city were brought here after the raid. Among them being Inspector Donovan and Ilya. Yes, and they're both still comatose too. If not for Inspector Donovan, I don't know what would have happened. We protected Fran and the others. It's thanks to him that Fran has been able to recover as quickly as she has. Yeah, true. And all the time we've known him, the old guy has always had a huge heart. Gotta respect him. If we have the time, I say we go check in on him and Ilya. I second that. Also, I believe Sully was coming to visit Ilya today as well. By the way, where's Franny's room? Fran? She's in 301. Save that one for last, then. If we're going to visit everyone, we should check in at the reception desk first. We'll do that. Uh, let's go. I'd like to see Cecile, too, but... can't imagine she... isn't insanely busy. Oh, yes, yeah, she'll be quite busy, won't she? I suddenly all these people that were wandering in have disappeared. Weird. I'm still reeling at the news that Crossbell City was attacked by a Jaeger Corps. It's been one of the longest weeks of my life. It sickens me that someone would do something like that. Knowing that the recovery efforts have been going well is a relief, but I wonder if Crosswell will ever truly be the same. I'm relieved to know the recovery efforts are going smoothly, but the shock of that attack itself hasn't worn off. I just wonder if Crosswell will ever truly be the same. We've had a flood of patients to the hospital due to the incident in the city. It's difficult to give everyone the treatment they need. We had to make a waiting list for people that are scheduled for surgeries. Oh dear, it's going to... Come over there. Le Lelicitia in first. Not everyone who was injured in the raid could be saved. Why does it have to be like this, Flora? Just like my heart is breaking. I know exactly how you feel. Mikau. Now isn't the time to grieve, though. We have jobs to do. If you have time to sulk... Then you have time to treat those that still need us. That's our mission as doctors. Laura's right. What I can do is help those that are in our care so that they're able to walk away from here happy and healthy. Sit down and eat lunch with me, Mikhail. We're going to have to fill up if we want to make it through after new rounds. In addition to my duties here at Le Citier, I'm also in charge of the meals that are served to the patients in the hospital. Sadly, some of the new patients don't like my four-year egg. Uh, some of the new patients that were brought here aren't able to eat at all. Food and energy go hand in hand. Since they can't eat, I, fe I feel powerless to help them. As things stand, only able to receive nutrients from IV drips. Food and energy go hand in hand. Indeed they do, indeed they do. How long has this place been open? How long has this place been open? Mummy and Daddy have been looking so sad these last few days. Is is my big brother going to be alright? What happened to him? I kept missing this place, didn't I? My son is in the Guardian Force and was on the front lines fighting those Jaegers. Had I known this would have happened one day, I never would have allowed him to join the CGF. Our son suffered injuries during the raid on the city. Thank the goddess he's alive, but he's still in the ICU. We were only able to be with him for a little bit before the doctors took him there. Please, Edios, please save my son. I never could have imagined a tragedy like this happening to our city. Heard even the police and CGF have their losses. Just what is going to happen to our little crossbell at this state? My son's family was hospitalized here after the attack on the city. I'm grateful to know they're still alive, but I haven't calmed down about it since I found out. Yeah, worry can be a... Th kicker. I said state on that, that's why I was checking there. Like I said state rather than rate. 
with this state? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, how, how many people have I missed there when doing the rounds? It's like, I think it's because it was locked at one point in the previous game. It's that like I can just completely keep dismissing it. And then just, I don't know what made me think I'll check here then. It's just, just suddenly like, I'll have a look in there. Like, oh. Like, can I go in there? It's like, yes, you can. I've been able to go in there probably for a while. You idiot. I don't like missing things when... Like, unless it's intentionally missing them, yeah. You know. This tear has had an influx of visitors this week due to the attack on the city. The most vexing thing I've seen is the expressions belonging to the families of the injured CPD and CGF members. It makes me think about how I'd look if it was my own family that was injured in that raid. It breaks my heart. Hospital has had an influx of visitors this week due to the attack on the city. It would break your heart. This is where we're going to notice, like, the brunt of everything, I imagine. Like, especially because, like, Ilya, Donovan, and Fran are here. Remember, we're going to 301 last. In fact, actually, hold on, I don't think it'd be a good idea to enter the hospital without checking in the reception desk first. That's literally what I was going to say, it's like, I'll check up up here, and then go down to the reception desk. We'll do it the proper way, sort of thing. But it's forcing us anyway. This is so boring. How long am I going to have to wait? You keep it down. You're going to cause a scene. No, no, there was no scene. No scene. You didn't like do like a fade out and a fade in. My buddy was caught up in the raid and had been hospitalized. Hope he gets well soon. Hmm. I haven't heard any new patients' names called in a while. I suppose the exams really are delayed. Can you imagine how busy the doctors have been treating people who were injured in that horrible attack? I wonder if Crossbow will ever be the same after this. The way things are, I can't even sleep at night. I know there's a lot resting on our shoulders right now, but I don't know how much longer I can go on. No, I shouldn't think that way. The patients are suffering far more than I am. I have no right to complain. You have a right to complain. We can't go in here first, okay. Uh, no. The patient is having a nightmare. Probably. Dr. Lago taught me that at the toughest of times, doctors have a duty to n not wear a sullen expression. But to show signs of losing hope, what kind of example would we be setting for the patients? Distress and mental fatigue are just one other aspect of a patient's well-being we have to account for as doctors. Times like this, we have a responsibility to not wear sullen expressions in front of our patients. But all too well, but it's still easier said than done. The city. The city was on fire. It was terrifying. It's like all of the conflicts that used to break out when I was young. You know. Our patients from the raid incident aren't limited to those who suffered injuries during the attack itself. And there are also patients who've been suffering through post-traumatic stress. To the point they've been in physical anguish. It's been a staunch reminder of just how closely the mind and body are connected. Indeed. I've worked here for several years, but I've never seen us housing this many patients at once. This truly is unprecedented, but we'll just have to do everything we can for them, no matter how many there are. This situation truly is unprecedented. Let's see, I still have to do my rounds in the ICU and research ward. So I have to check on an Inspector Donovan's respirator? Your business is really picking up now, I'm swamped. Doesn't look like I'll be able to return to being a full-time researcher anytime soon. You know, I to, let's see about the guy on the bed. Both of my legs were broken during the attack. Oh. I mean, why did this have to happen? Strange rumors are going around that the raid on the city was a plot hatched by the Imperial government. Could the Empire really been responsible for an attack that sent so many innocent people to the hospital? If that were true, then I don't think I'd ever be able to look at my homeland the same way again. I still have aspirations of practicing healthcare in my home country someday. If the Imperial government really was behind that attack, then I don't think I'd be able to look at my homeland the same way again. It's if they were responsible. 
So I'll just check. Can I actually go in? Let's go to the reception desk first. It'd be best to check in. Yeah, I can't I can't go up to other floors yet, can I? We've already had a lot of visitors come here saying they'd like to see Miss Bateri and give her uh, support. Fortunately, we had no choice but to turn them away. Miss Bateri is still comatose after all. Sorry, those that are authorized can enter her room. That has not slowed down the number of gifts and sweets being sent, however. They're never ending. If there's a silver lining to what's happened, it's seeing the proof firsthand that Miss Bateri is a source of inspiration for the citizens. I suppose. Oh, hello, Noel. I see you brought the rest of the SSS with you today, too. Are you all here to pay Fran a visit? We are. It's now a good time. Yes, of course. I'm glad she's regained consciousness, by the way. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see all of you. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's go, guys. Her room is dear one on the third floor. Sounds good. Thank you again, Sarah. You can find Fran in room... 301 on the third floor. Her condition is stable, but she's far from regaining all of her strength. I think a visit from all of you would go a long way to cheering her up. Fran regained consciousness the other day. Her wounds were so serious when she first arrived. Thank goodness she's doing better now. Again, just speaking to that sort of like... Falcom could have done something here and had us really, really feel the weight of what happened. Because at the moment, like, people we know are in critical care, but they seem like they're going to get better, and it seemed like they're okay. Imagine, like, I, I mean, I wouldn't want anything to happen to Fran, but, you know, for, like, for the sake of, like, dram dramatics and stuff like that, and driving home how bad the raid was, if Fran had died, that would have, that would have hit all of us playing, watching, etc., and really felt like this impact of the raid. It's like, it's not someone directly like part of the group normally, but it's someone we've worked with, someone we've constantly communicated with, done quests with, with a member of the group. It's it's her sister. It, w it would have had a proper impact. And I feel that's one way it's probably lacking at the moment. It's like, it's tragic. Absolutely tragic what happened to Crossbell, but I feel they could have made it hit so much harder. Fran is in room 301, isn't she? Let's go see how she's doing. Okay, okay. We still have several CGF guardsmen in the ICU at the moment. The injuries they suffered at the hands of the Jaegers are severe. It'll take time for them to recover and be discharged. I'm used to seeing patients carried to the hospital. It was hard seeing the guardsmen in that condition. Mm-hmm. Our jobs come of a sad reality. The times where we're present for the final moments of a patient's life. Over time, people like doctors and I become desensitized. It's normal for us to not shed a tear when a patient dies. This raid incident, on the other hand. When I think about the victims, it's not sorrow that I'm feeling. It's anger. Needlessly taking the lives of innocent people. Those Jaegers make me sick. In a world where people like doctors live to save lives, there are also people like those Jaegers who needlessly take them. What must Adios be thinking when looking down upon mankind and our sins? Guys that were brought to room 202 were running their mouths a lot at first, but seemed depressed about something now. Don't think only their injuries are the cause. They have to do with what happened to the city. It's difficult to see Sarone shaken like this. I hope everything will be alright never seen so many patients brought to the hospital until now. They're all in so much pain. I'm so uneasy today that I'd rather not be alone for too long. Maybe I'll spend the night with Mayfa. Been uneasy after seeing so many patients carried in one after another. Maybe I'll spend the night with Mayfa. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm just wondering, it's like we're not going to be able to go to other rooms, are we? Just wondering who else we can check in on right now. I don't think there's really anywhere else. Yeah, we got we gotta go to Fran's room. Alright up. Now she's up. Pardon us. Hello, Lloyd. So this is where you were, Cecile. Sorry for barging in like this. Is now a bad time? <laughs> of course not. I just finished swapping out her IV.
Yep, I'm right as rain now. So did you guys come all this way to see me? Yeah, Noelle told us that you'd woken up. So glad you're alright, friend. And you're already looking better. She's right. The way you're shining right now, you'll be good as new in no time. Thanks, guys. I'm alright now. They said I'll be moved to a regular room in two or three days. After that, it's only a matter of time until I'm back on my feet and right out that door. Nuh uh, no way, Fran. We still need plenty more rest until I let you even think about getting out of here. <laughs> I know, I know. You're worried because I can be kind of ditzy when I'm left on my own. I think that's why Inspector Donovan protected me like he did. Fran. Fran, sweetie, you can't be thinking like that. Red Constellation is why you're both here. You know what happened ain't your fault. <laughs> I know. But I still want to be the one backing you guys up and giving you support. I just want to recover already and get back to work. It's okay, friend, we know. We miss hearing your voice and seeing your smiling face when we report in. Work is still getting done, though, so don't worry. Best thing you can do for us right now is focus on your recovery. Do that and we promise to take all the support you can give us when you finally return. Okay, I will. Thanks, guys. Oh, but that reminds me. But Noe is going back to the CGF. Mom must have told you. Yeah, I thought it over and now is the right time. I don't mean to burst your bubble or anything. Guess I'll be missing out on all the support you'll be giving the SSS. Burst? You may as well be shooting it with one of your machine guns. And not only that, Noe, but you... You... Fran? Don't worry, she's fine. That's just the IV drip kicking in. You should rest now and leave the talking for later. I'm... I'm okay. Blood and the others came all this way to see me. And I still need to give Noe her big pep talk before going back to the CGF. <sighs> you can't be serious. So guys, I think it'd be best if we let her rest for now. No problem. We'll come visit again, okay, friend? Sweet dreams. I will bake you a mishy cake once you have finally recovered. <laughs> I can't wait. There she goes. Her stamina must be a lot lower than it, what it was. It's true. She had an emergency blood transfusion during her surgery. Still, she should make a full recovery. She'll be healthy before you know it. I hope so. Let's head outside for now. By the way, Cecile, are Inspector Donovan and Ilya allowed visitors as yet? Yes, they are. If they were awake, I'd know they'd both like to see you. But you accompany me as I do my rounds and check on them. Would that be alright? We would appreciate that. Thanks for the solid, Cecile. You're very welcome. Inspector Donovan is in room 302. And we'll find Ilya in room 303, just across from Shizuku's room. Got it. Let's go. Out like a normal light. He sure is. I to tell you she'll be fully healed soon, Noel. Thank you, Cecile. I'm leaving her in your hands. Aww. Now, can we go down to different floors? No, Inspector Donovan is in room 302. Shouldn't take too long to see him. Let's do that. Yeah, I'd like that. Righto. Just wanted to see maybe we could, in, like, go speak to other people with Cecile around. My. Raymond, I'm coming in now. Hey, Cecile, and the SSS, too. Good to see you're doing well, Raymond. You've been looking after him, haven't you? <laughs> Just a little bit. I've only been filling in for the inspector's wife when she needs a break. Though I get the feeling that if he saw me here, he'd yell something like, The hell are you doing here? Get back to work! Yeah. It is easy to imagine. So, he was placed on a respirator. Yeah. They say his respiratory system took a lot of damage. But if he were to wake up, his recovery would speed up too. Back during the explosion, the inspector... He... Saved Fran and me. Who said I was worth saving? There's nothing I could do back there. I was panicking so much. And look at me. All I got was some scratches. Even Fran had to be brought here and undergo surgery. Makes me sick. I'm just an incompetent, lucky son of a bitch. Raymond. 
You know it's not your fault, man. Why don't you take a break, Raymond? This condition is stable and we're in the middle of our rounds. But notice if anything changes. You won't be able to help him if you keep running yourself ragged, you know? <laughs> Sorry. The inspector's wife should be coming back soon, so I can at least look after him until she gets here. All right. Take care of yourself, too. We will come visit again. Yeah, I think he'd like that. Inspector Donovan saved our lives back there. We're so lost right now, but I know I need to pull it together. That's what the inspector would tell me. I'm going to get my act together and become a detective that he can be proud of. I'll have to remember to thank the inspector for protecting Fran when he wakes up. It may take some time. It was his respiratory system that took the most damage in that blast. However, he should wake up in time. Hopefully his life is in no danger at the moment. It's good to hear. And he has Raymond looking out for him too. And now let's leave them and come back once the inspection wakes up. Sounds good to me. Okay. Is that sort of thing like, can I go in the linen room? Yes. Billy is in room 303. Shouldn't take too long, let's go see her. Yeah, let's do that. Sully, can I come in? Sully. Ilya. Isn't she so beautiful and peaceful right now? Normally when she sleeps, her hair is all messed up, and she snores like a bear. Never seen her like this. <laughs> is this really Ilya Platiri? How is she? She suffered several fractures, including her spine. Oh. She was also suffering from internal bleeding. Hopefully her surgeries were successful. However, she's shown no signs of coming out of her coma. That's why she remains on life support. It's terrible. Damn. They said that even if she wakes up, the odds of her making a full recovery are slim to none. Just imagine it. And he will never be able to stand on stage again. And it's all because she protected me. I never should have... She shouldn't have... Sorry. It's okay. Everything is going to be alright. No one knows Ilya better than I do. No matter what happens, she isn't the type of person to give up. She's never going to stop looking ahead. That's who Ilya Platiri is. But... She's right. Ilya wouldn't be able to be the kind of performer that she is if she wasn't like that. Well said. Never enough for Ilya. In the time we've known her, she's always been striving for new heights. As long as there is a stage to come back to, Ilya will stop at nothing to be on it. It may sound absurd, but I have no doubt about it. Hell yeah. Put some faith in Adios and Ilya. You've got your own thing to do. Besides, if Ilya were awake, she'd be telling you to not miss so much practice. Give her all the more reason to catch up to you when she wakes up. Yeah, absolutely. When she sees how far you and all the others have come, she's going to do everything she can to join all of you. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I know you're right, the rest of us should all be pulling together right now. But Risha... She's nowhere to be found. Say, could you guys maybe help me find her? I don't get what happened that night, but Risha is still one of us. And I think, I think Ilya would have another reason to wake up if she came back too. Of course. Consider her a formal request of the SSS. I'm going to find Risha personally. Don't make promises like that. Thank you, everyone. I think Sully feels a little better now. You've encouraged me a little. Cecile. My condition is just as bad as I feared after I heard what happened. I know. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried about her every hour of every day. But even so, this is Illy we're talking about. I believe in her. And knowing her, the more people believe in her, the more she'll feed off of that. Damn straight. That does sound like her. 
Still, if Sully is right, then bringing back Risha is going to be just as important as anything. You think we can find her, Lloyd? Honestly, I don't know. She's really gone into hiding, finding it will be easier said than done. You're probably right. That note, we don't know whether the missing Hayway members are even still in the state. They heart headed out of here. It's possible she went back to Calvert. Still, I don't want to let Soldier down while she's counting on us. Yeah, me neither. We should keep our ears to the ground for clues about where Hayway went. I will search for hints on the orbital net. It's more than we could ask for. I'm heading back to the nurse's station. But what are you going to do now, Lloyd? I still have some work to do, so I guess we're saying bye for now. Thanks for playing guide again, Cecile. My pleasure. I know Crossbell has seen better days, but that's all the more reason we need to do our best. But remember not to overdo it, okay? We'll try. Thank you as always. We'll do more than try. Now's the time to make a stand. You're absolutely right. It's the only way we're going to put smiles back on people's faces and help them heal their physical and psychological wounds. Make a stand. It's a long fade out. I hope you guys find Risha. I think Ilya would have another reason to wake up if she were here with us. No, you're right. That's why we're going to find her for sure. Until that happens, the rest of Arkansas and I will do what we can for her. Never thought I'd see the day that Ilya would be like this. I know, it really put things into perspective. Yeah, but if anyone can make a comeback, it's Ilya. I'm sure of it. Let's check on Shizuka. Oh. That's strange. I wonder where Shizuku is. Maybe she's out for a walk. We did not cross paths with her on our way here. No harm in going to look for the kiddo. So then she's gone up, based on what they said there. Unless she went in the elevator, but... Nope. Let's check over here first, see if there's anyone else. No. Okay. Shizuku. Hey, Shizuku. Out for a walk. Oh, it's the SSS. Are you here to visit someone today? Yeah, we came to see Fran. We also had the chance to see a police inspector and Ilya. Oh, Cecile told me about what happened to your sister. Can't imagine how scary that attack in the city was. Cecile and the doctors have been so busy helping everyone. Yeah, it does seem that way. By the way, Shizuku, has your father been by to visit lately? No, he hasn't come once since what happened in the city. He did call, but it sounded like he's really busy with work, too. That is not surprising. Have you been lonely, Shizuku? No, I'm fine. A lot of people died, and there are still more here who were injured. It'd be selfish of me to expect all of his attention right now. Wish there was something I could do too, like cheer up Fran and the other patients. With my eyes like this, I feel so useless. I hate it. What you're talking about? You're already doing plenty. He's right. The fact that you haven't given up against your own condition is inspiring to everyone around you. The SSS included. We promise you that. If you say so. I think what you all do makes you much braver. I'll keep cheering you on, okay? Oh, there was something I wanted to talk to all of you about. It has to do with when Kia came to visit me three days ago. That's right, she did come to see you that day, didn't she? Did something happen, Shizuku? Well, I just thought she was acting a bit strange is all. You could tell something was on her mind. Something was bothering Kia. That's weird. It's acting the same as ever around us that day. Maybe Kia's been worried about what's happening in Crossbell too. Possibly. She could have been hiding it to not worry us again. Whatever the reason, we'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thanks for telling us, Shizuku. You're welcome. I know you're all so busy right now. I'm going to keep cheering you on, okay? Okay. Let's check in the last few rooms we couldn't. Oh, how could you become that thing just to become stronger? You have to be kidding me. I 
knew we didn't always see eye to eye, but never thought I'd end up like this. I'll never be our leader again. Rather, there's nothing left to be the leader of. The Saber Vipers might be done. Damn you, Walt will never follow you again. Oh. This patient's psyche is what sustained the most damage, not his body. The human mind is a powerful thing. It can heal us. However, when overcome with despair, it becomes even more difficult to recover. For his recovery, he'll need to recover his spirit before he can recover his body. A monster. A monster. All of us here had only suffered a few broken bones. Cookie suffered some more serious injuries. He was taken to the ICU after we got here. But they moved into their research thing after that. He hasn't woken up yet, either. Damn it, why did this have to happen? Slash is all screwed up too. He hasn't put together a full sentence since that night. Damn it, why did this have to happen? Thank you, damn it, world. Give my regards to Kier and Chief Sergei too, please. Times are difficult, but we have each other. Let's continue doing our best, Light. We will, we will. Some of the patients in this room are police officers too. Well, the only one with severe injuries was that inspector from the second division. Fortunately, these other guys should be back on their feet in no time. I should read that. The inspector from the second division hasn't regained consciousness, but his condition has still improved. The worst should be behind him. He's in room 302 on the third floor. You're welcome to pay him a visit if you'd like. I no match for the Red Constellation once they started going all out. Worst part is it feels like we let the citizens down. Because it's a police force that can't protect its city when it needs it most, I feel pathetic. Even Miss Fran from the reception desk wasn't spared in the attack. Damn it, so much for all the training we did at the police academy. Seeing Fran's smiling face at the reception desk always cheers me up. So happy that she regained consciousness. Yeah, me too. The monsters that the Jaegers used were terrifying. They were so well trained, too. I hate to say it, but I think we're done for if they come to attack us again. Supplies from Memiferia still haven't arrived? No, sadly. They were supposed to be delivered this morning, but nothing's come yet. Oh dear, I hope there hasn't been some sort of trouble with the package. It's possible something happened on its way from Remiferia or the airport. Treating outpatients will be difficult without proper medical supplies. I suppose it falls on my shoulders to contact the supplier and explain what happened. I'm expecting a package of medical supplies to be delivered by Rhyme's deliveries, but it's not here yet. Maybe there's some kind of delay? I hope everything is alright. Maybe something happened to those supplies while they were in transit. I'll try calling everyone who should have handled the packages one more time. And I think that leads to a side quest. The special support section, Lloyd Banning speaking. Hey, what's up? Where are you guys right now? Would a little courtesy kill you for once? Couldn't you have at least said who was calling first? It's in Ursula Hospital. Something wrong, Jonah. Am I wrong, or didn't you get back to doing the SSS stuff today? I was thinking of putting in a little request for you. Where did you hear that? I not have been sneaking into the police database again. And we're busy with real work anyway, so... What's that? Was it that bailed you out when you were looking for those missing braces, hmm? You owe me one. And you know it. Damn it. Fine, I'll hear you out, but don't think that means we're going to do anything you ask us to. Should we do it in person? Yeah, meet me in front of the lighthouse in the harbor district. I'll be waiting. The lighthouse? Why there of all places? It's even outside. Oh, shut up. It's supposed to be a surprise. Anyway, just hurry up. Wait. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. I take it Jonah wants some kind of favor from us. How do you know? Lloyd let the others know that Jonah asked to meet them in front of the lighthouse in the harbor district. All right, that is a weird place. Nothing really over there, right? Especially now that Hayway Building is gone. I mean, there's clearly an access point to Geofront. He had a point about helping us when we were searching for Lynn and Aeolia. Let's hear him out. It's not too unreasonable. 
It'd be nice to return the favor. Why don't we head there once we're done taking our break? Sounds good to me. He was the one who decided to cash in his favor while we were at work. I say it is fine if we make him wait for a little while longer. <laughs> Got a point. And that's when we're going to end this part. In the next part, we'll see about that quest regarding um, the medical supplies, because I believe that opens up now at the airport. So we'll start the next part with that. So I'll see you then. Ta-da for now.